Hi guys, welcome to Life with M's. I am in my bedroom recording this intro for you guys. Um, this is episode five of my weight loss journey. And if you're new here, I'm Emily. Thank you for joining me. If you like to hear about people's weight loss journeys and um, you can relate to some health issues that I'm having or have had, then please hit the subscribe button, share this with your friends, the people you love, or anyone you think this might be helpful to. I will put a disclaimer out in all of my videos that this is just my experience. I am not a professional. I am not a doctor. I am not a nutritionist. I am just sharing my story. I am sharing my voice and putting it out there to find people who are like-minded and might be struggling with the same things that I have been struggling or at least can relate to some of my struggles and issues um, with my health and with weight loss and everything that I've been going through. So if you are part of that family, if you're part of that community, if you're part of that crew, then thank you for joining me and you are so welcome. You are seen, you are loved, and I accept you with open arms. Let's, uh, let's support each other and continue on this love fest. Okay, so in my last video, I gave you guys a four month update on what has happened to me and how I got the call from my insurance company accepting my approval for the bariatric surgery. Okay, so due to serious health issues, I decided to undergo bariatric surgery for the newbies here. And if you want to hear all of those details, definitely watch episodes one through four because each video describes every health issue and complication that I've had leading up to surgery. Okay, so in the last video, I talk about how my insurance approved my bariatric um, surgery. I, am, I will be getting the bariatric um, gastric sleeve and that is going to happen on August 15th, 2022. And I'm super excited about it because this is something that I have been looking forward to. So in these videos, you're going to see what happened leading up to surgery. This video is specifically about my pre-op diet for gastric sleeve. So one thing that they wanted me to do was the pre-op diet and the pre-op diet consisted of four shakes a day and two cups of veggies a day. So I divided the cups of vegetables throughout um, the day one for snack time and one for dinner in between the shakes. So I had a shake for breakfast, a shake for lunch, a shake for dinner, and part of that dinner um, combo was my shake and my veggies, and then a shake for snack time, like the last snack time of the day. And it all had to be two hours apart. Um, and so that's how I was able to divide everything up. I tried to record as much as I possibly could of my whole process and how it um, like kind of just unfolded every day, but there was days that I could not record. So you're going to see the video clips that I did um, record and you'll see and hear in every video kind of just what transpired why I wasn't able to record um, the videos that I wanted to um, and kind of the symptoms that I was feeling while doing this pre-op diet okay so without any further ado this video won't be that long but I hope you enjoy it if you have any questions feel free to comment don't forget to subscribe send this and share this with so many people that you think would be would benefit from hearing my story or at least relate to my story in some way and comment below like the video and tell me what you liked best about this video if you guys have any questions that i can answer in the next video please do not hesitate to ask let me know all right so without further ado here are my pre-op diet vlogs
Good morning guys, welcome to my channel. I am starting my pre-op diet. I have my book. This is the shake I will be utilizing. It has to be two scoops of protein and eight ounces of water. I got fresh water from my fridge. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna measure properly. And I'm gonna measure here. So I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna use a plastic cup. This is a plastic cup, it's super light. And I'm gonna select unit. Okay. So right there, right there I selected unit. It's just it's moving the numbers. That's that sign is for water. It's moving the numbers because I'm moving it around. So now Okay, that's 7.1. Okay, wait, that's a little bit above 8. So it's 8.9. 8 ounces. Okay. I'm going to show you guys this. Okay, it's supposed to be at 8 ounces, but 8.1 is fine. That's what it looks like. Now I have to mix the scoops into this. That's how much comes in here. Crazy. Crazy. You would think because the thing is so big, it would have more. Now I understand why they made me buy two jugs of these. Okay. So it is two scoops leveled, which this one is leveled. Get off the scale so it looks like chocolate milk but they don't want me mixing this with milk I have to drink this with water and I'm gonna show you the instructions in the book it says to do this shake four times a day and do four servings of vegetables per day I'm gonna show you the sample meal chart to show you what that is going to look like in a minute. I just gotta mix this and it's looking super chunky. And to be honest, I'm very grossed out. So, this is not, okay, I'm gonna have to blend this. This is gross. Okay, I blended this up. This is what it looks like because there is some powder chunks in here. I'm just gonna pour it in this cup and mix it. Now I can see why this, this mix is very chunky. Now I can see why they said that for pudding to mix it with four ounces, but to be honest, whoops. There's no way in heck I'm gonna eat this as pudding. It's just going to be my liquid protein drink. Okay, so when it's blended, it comes out thick. So here we go. Good morning, breakfast, bon appetit. This is horrible. The only thing that's good about it is that it's chocolate flavored. I cannot imagine any other flavor in this shake. Um. Mm. 
Mm. Gross. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And I got to do this four times a day. So it looks like the blender is going to be my best friend. Welcome to my food vlog pre-op day one. Hopefully after like day four, hopefully sooner, I get used to the flavor, but right now I can't get used to the flavor. I knew it wasn't gonna taste good, but I didn't think it was gonna taste like that. Um, you might like it, but if you do the surgery and you do get bariatric fusion, you might like it. Um, because it needs to be clear liquids, um, that's why they have me mix it with water. Um, I will say, um, that it made the hunger go away. And mix it with cold water, and if the water's not cold enough, I suggest putting ice in it. So, for lunch, I might just put ice in the blender and shake it up and turn it into like a milkshake type smoothie. Just to keep it cold, maybe it because the water did get warm a little bit. That's not too bad. I just, it has a chocolatey aftertaste. There's no like really bad aftertaste. It's just gonna take me some time to get used to the actual flavor. Okay, I put a timer for two hours because this has to be, my nutritionist said to eat a meal every two hours. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and another snack, so two snacks during the day. <sighs> this is what my book looks like. Everything in pink is the do not eat, and everything in yellow is what I'm allowed to eat. So for the fluid goal, it's eight cups of, so 64 ounces throughout the day, not all at once, okay guys? sugar-free non-carbonated decaffeinated liquid daily so in that list these are the um liquid items that are included water fruit infused waters decaf herbal tea decaf coffee or tea crystal light sugar-free lemonade gatorade or powerade sugar-free popsicles sugar-free gelatin bouillon or broth vitamin water zero and meal so Oh, here it is. So I have Crystal Light Fruit Punch. It's my favorite. Um, I was looking for the raspberry iced tea flavor, but they were all out because that's another one of my favorites. So we're doing that. This is also something that I need to do for 11 days. That is why I'm starting it today, August 4th. It's a Thursday, okay? The instructions is to stop vitamin and mineral supplements so all of that has been stopped four high protein shakes per day so three meals this says three meals one snack but the sample meal that i'm going to show you says uh two snacks per day um and then it says four servings of non-starchy vegetables per day but for the for the for high protein shakes, it has specific instructions. So it says protein shake mix two level scoops with eight ounces of cold water. So two level scoops with eight ounces of cold water. For protein pudding, it says mix two level scoops with four ounces of cold water. Yeah, no, we ain't doing it. No, I'm not about to have no chunky nothing. Nope, shakes all the way. Uh, it says here that I can have sugar-free gelatin powder, sugar-free drink mixes with that, extracts, assorted flavors, sugar-free flavored syrups, like coffee, chocolate, stri strawberry, artificial sweetener, example, equal Splenda Stevia, and sweet and low. So, I think I'm low in Splenda, but I do have Stevia, so I'll be using Stevia 
probably for lunch and see if that makes it taste a little bit better. Four servings of non-starchy vegetables are as follows. Um, oh, the list is that is in the bag. It says free foods as desired. Avoid gassy vegetables for three days before surgery. So broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower. So for my vegetables, I bought um, cabbage, not cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, cucumber, and carrots. So I can do like a nice because uh, I do like those vegetables, so that will be something easy that I can eat. So I'll do like a salad with all of that. I also have frozen spinach, so I'll probably just boil that in, to, in salt water so it doesn't taste nasty. And add it, because I'm allowed to have spinach. It says free foods as desired, sugar-free gum, dill pickles, lemon juice, soy sauce, tomato paste, vinegar, mustard, Worcestershire sauce. Didn't say that right. Don't care. Herbs, spices, light Italian dressing, two tablespoons maximum per day. So I like vinegar um, and I like lemon juice. So I'll probably create my own dressing with a little bit of olive oil, some lemon juice or vinegar um, and some herbs and spices just so that my veggies can taste good. All right, so the non-starchy vegetables, our serving size is one cup raw or half a cup cooked. So since some of them will be cooked, I have to do half a cup. Choose up to four servings per day. So this is the list of vegetables that you can eat during the clear liquid phase. It says alfalfa sprouts, asparagus, bean sprouts, beets, plain, not pickled, bell peppers, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and I do have bell peppers, which I love bell peppers, so that's good to know. Um, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, cucumbers, eggplant, green beans, greens, like kale, lettuce, turnip, and, green, and beets greens, leeks, mushrooms, okra, onions, I have onions too, that's awesome, spinach, tomatoes and zucchini so we are good on that and then it says sample meal plan four shakes plus non-starchy vegetables so it says a shake for breakfast a shake for lunch a snack before dinner which would be one cup of salad and two tablespoons of light dressing so the salad it says sorry i keep looking at my reflection instead of you guys i'm so sorry one cup of spinach salad includes half a cup of chopped carrots, peppers, and cucumbers. Remember, half a cup is if it's cooked, okay? If it's not cooked, it's one cup raw. Then for dinner, it'll be a shake, the same shake I just had, with one cup cooked broccoli with vegetables seasoning. At this point, they're just using the broccoli as an example but you can do cauliflower you can do whatever vegetable from this list that you like I probably will be doing broccoli because I love broccoli I'll probably do broccoli and um, or cauliflower and that says one cup cooked broccoli okay and then for snack I'm assuming this is a snack before bed do a shake so one two three four okay do a shake and then um, because it is four servings of vegetables you can break that up into having your vegetables with each shake that you have so shake plus vegetables that will keep you from being hungry right now I don't feel hungry so the shake is just gonna be fine for me for breakfast I'm gonna see how I feel by lunch. Since I did drink my shake like around 9.30, um, I didn't put the timer on till like 9.36, so the timer's gonna go off at 11.36, which is where I do another shake. Um, so, it says here, shake, then snack. So, 
I'm assuming the snack is gonna be within the hour. So what I'll probably do is prepare a baggie of carrots. Um, Cause I do have two appointments of physical therapy today. And um, they're back to back and it's two hours long. So that's gonna be quite difficult and I have appointments ne next week as well this is going to be um, pretty pretty hectic I'll keep you guys posted we'll see what happens